We want to hear from Bob and his words of encouragement. Hi there. Yeah, um, <clears throat> prison ministry. I, first of all, I just want to acknowledge what's going on in this church for, for me and what it's been. This church has meant so much to me. I mean, you, and, you know, my wife passed away in January and my grandson passed away two days later. And, and the support we, we had before she passed with the love. I want to just, I, I just need to acknowledge this. I mean, and we had a team when they'd already said they were going to pull the life support off my, my wife, that had the audacity to come into that, that hospital room and pray, pray for resurrection. I mean, and I'll tell you what, man, you know, continue to be audacious. Continue to believe for it because it's going to happen. But the, yes, but the love and, and, and everything that was poured into my wife, the support you've given me, my granddaughter who, who lost her husband and, with, and her four kids, you know, I mean, it's just, I love you guys, and I love this church. And now on top of it, you know, I had a meeting with Pastor Vlad uh, the Friday before. We had coffee together. And I looked in his eyes, and I said, and I recognized it. He became aware of the, of the prison ministry, and I recognized my little vision was suddenly fit into his big vision. And that was exciting. That was exciting, you know. So my little vision is the fact there's four penitentiaries all around this area. You know, as we're praying for revival and we're going to see some are called out into, in, into going into nursing homes. You're all, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's an assignment for everybody here. You know, sometimes it's in the church, sometimes, and many times it's outside the church. And that, that prison ministry for me was, 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 was not only an assignment, it was a, a direct calling. So anyway, uh, right now, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going into a, a, a prison in Oregon called Two Rivers Correctional Institute. It's all out of Yimatilla. A lot of people aren't even aware it's there, but there's a couple, couple of thousand men there. And, uh, and we've got a move of God going on in there. And I've got testimony after testimony. There's not time to give them, but I just want to let you aware there's a pastor. And, and this is what, there's a pastor who's, who's actually an, an inmate, prisoner, who's getting a mighty move of God there, and his name is Shane Hall. And he's a, and he's a, he's a professional musician, he's a, he's a pastor, and, and it's like, you know, he's David and I'm Jonathan. All I, all I can do is encourage him. He's killing giants in there, and there's a move of God going on in that place, and it's really exciting. And, and, you, and you can get the testimony on Facebook, because he sends... He sends you know, we're, we're, we've been, we've, we're baptizing hundreds of men, and, and, and now we've started, uh, to the encouragement of uh, Hungry Generation, getting them baptized in the Holy Ghost as well. Yeah, and uh, and, and <clears throat> so you can go on your Facebook and, 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 and pull up Reigns of Grace. This, uh, this pastor I'm talking about, this inmate pastor, uh, is a cowboy from Oklahoma, and so it's called Reigns of Grace, like Reigns on the Horse, R-E-I-G-N-S. Reigns of Grace, you can pull it up, and he's, and he's putting testimony after testimony after testimony of what's going on in the prison. In the meantime, you know, <clears throat> I'm at that point in my life where I'm really seeking the Lord about what I'm supposed to be doing now. And I'm trying to give it all I've got, you know, and, and he's showing me, and he's, he's presenting visions to me. But one thing is very important for me to go ahead and... Uh, and, and take care of. And, and uh, at my age and everything, I've been doing this for 27 years. And, and I'm going to retire from my job soon. And when I do, then I'm going to go ahead and pick up the ball again with three other penitentiaries. One in Pendleton, the, the big one in Walla Walla, and one in Coyote Ridge and Connell. And I'm going to get my clearances back. And because he's, he's showing me, the vision he's showing me is that there's, there's people in here that I'm going to be passing this baton to. You know, and there's three and there's three ways to look at this. One is some people. I brought people in. They only come in once or twice, but I bring them in as, as a guest, and, and all of a sudden it's like wow, mm -hmm. and it's a, and it's a life changing experience for them. It's like going to Israel. Everybody should go there one time because it, it's a life changing experience, right? Yeah. Well, the same thing coming in. So you, you can just come in as a guest, or you might be assigned there for a season. But when I looked in Pastor Vlad's eyes, 
And I, and, and I, and I began to see, he saw the same thing I did, that there's people who have a specific calling to go into the penitentiaries that are going to go ahead and really dedicate themselves and pour themselves into it. Between the four penitentiaries, I estimate about 9,000 people. That's a fairly good-sized town, okay? So as revival is breaking out all around us and going in these different directions, go ahead and, and uh, just, just, just consider and, and seek the Holy Spirit because let him, let him show you and reveal it to you. But like I say, you can, you can just come in, look, look me up. I've got, I've got these forms out in the, out in the car, and, and, and uh, I, I can get you cleared to come in as a guest just, just to see what happens in there. Because it, it, this is, I've seen moves of God. I've seen things going on, testimony after testimony. And, uh, and, and, and it, it, just, just to come in and be a part of it and, and to see the men's eyes and how excited they are just to come to chapel. Think about it. I mean, so many people, when they come to church out here, They've got their, their boat and car out in the parking lot, right? And then they're looking forward to just when the service is over with, going out on the river. Well, these guys are looking forward all week. This is what they got to look forward to. So they're focused, and they're excited, and they're worshiping, and God is moving. So anyway, that's, that's just part of my vision. I can go on and on. But I, I, I'm sharing it, and I thank Pastor Vlad and the church for, for incorporating this, my vision into their vision now. And I, and I just love that. So anyway, I've talked enough. No, you did good, Bob. Thank you so much. You did good.